26 days into the new year. Yes, the U.S. has seen 40 mass shootings. 10 News reporter Maria Guzman shares how our state leaders are responding tonight. Maria. Robin. Robin, Tim Burchess says we've seen 40 too many shootings. This map from the Gun Violence Archive a mass shooting just this year with the red dots you see here. It's happening across our country and our state is not immune to gun violence. All while people from coast to coast trying to figure out ways to cope and heal. Highland Park, Uvalde, Monterey Park and Half Moon Bay are nation rocked by more mass shootings. Too much. It's way too much. In East Tennessee, three people were shot two days into 2023. It happened at a concert at My Canna Buds on Clinton Highway. It can happen anywhere, and it and it and it has. State Representative Gloria Johnson says she wants reform. She says it's not about taking away people's Second Amendment rights, but about stronger universal background checks. That's something we can all agree on. Let's do that to start. But other leaders think otherwise. Congressman Tim Burchett says new laws are not the answer. Responsibility and that's that's what to me is the bottom line with all this. A clinical counselor with the McNabb Center says a life or death situation like a shooting can play a huge role in a person's development in the aftermath. It can be described as a, a living hell. Uh, it's uh, they're stuck. If a person doesn't seek the needed treatment, their trauma response can easily affect other parts of their physical body. Traumatized, uh, that's the part of the brain that's really online and controlling things, and so we get kind of stuck there. The expert says seeking treatment is the first step in healing that can help you before trauma becomes a long-term problem. Maria, thank you.